Hello, everyone. I can't see you. So I'm just going to imagine that um, I'm looking into your eyes. Thinking practice. Okay, where do I start? I'm going to leave all the thanks for later. There's a special moment that I'd like to share with you. I was standing in front of a painting by Giotto, a 13th century painter in the Uffizi, Florence, when I felt a pull, as if I was being called, but it was a magnetic pull. And now I can say after 20 years since that day, what it was that pulled me towards or into the painting. You see, it was not the painting, though it was beautiful. It was Giotto's energy captivated inside the painting. Compact, brilliant, serene, and oh, full of light. In that moment, something crystallized inside of me. I thought, wow, this is what being alive really means. The eternal presence of the effort, the commitment, the pursuit of creating something was what I was experiencing in that moment. Strangely, it was the life force within a 700 or so old painting that oozed out with such, I can't even find the words to describe it, except to say that everything within me and all around me, the physical dimension became soft, very soft. I felt for the first time what energy actually feels like what it looks like. It has a form. I can only describe it as visible sound waves. All this was perhaps merely an instant, but with that instant I knew I was not going to be shuffling papers at law school. And my path in the field of art opened there. Did I know? Did that 20-year-old girl knew at the time what that experience meant exactly? No, I didn't. But it was the clearest sense of knowing I had ever experienced. And by God, I was going to hold on <laughs> to that knowing. A knowing that is equal to an unknowing which allowed me to get on a journey. And so here we are today with you, riding with me on a journey of curatorial work. The fact that you are here today means that your journey is criss crossing path with mine, and for that I'm delighted. It is because of the knowing that I experienced on that day that I am still in pursuit of expanding that knowing, that knowledge further for myself and for others that we are here today. The journey to knowledge, true knowledge, always begins with a question. So today and tomorrow, we're going to explore what is practice. In the art world lingo, the word art practice has become synonymous to an end product, a result, an object, in the form of something or another, 
But if we were to separate the word art, which has also become synonymous to a thing, a material form, we can perhaps quintessentialize the meaning of these words in and of themselves. You will hear in one way or another, and please listen, please feel it, because it will be spoken, but you may not hear it, because practice is not a thing, it is a transmission of energy. It is a journey, a pursuit, a challenge, a creative force that must simply be exercised so that it may continue on its journey. The artist, the maker, the creator, his or her internal being, their internal ingredients is what is being practiced. How does practice, what does practice mean on a daily basis for anyone? For me, practice is everything I do. Standing here in front of you, vulnerable, yet pursuing my thoughts written in this notebook is a practice because it will expand the internal qualities that I am trying to expand and grow. What does this have to do with art and curatorial work? Everything. Today I'm practicing speaking to you in my own voice. This voice I have discovered is simple, clear, and direct. This voice is on a journey to grow and bloom and flourish, not materially, but energetically. That day in the Uffizi, what I experienced was the presence of Giotto's journey to develop himself, making art the best of it I hope also means you are growing qualities within yourself. What qualities am I practicing to develop for myself and for all those I am inspired by? Well, I'm practicing how to love deeper. I'm practicing how to communicate clearer I am practicing patience, perseverance, limitlessness. I am practicing empathy, understanding, honesty, generosity, hopefulness, resourcefulness. I am practicing wholesomeness. I am practicing sweetness. I hope you feel it. <laughs> I am practicing to catch myself when I am not transmitting these qualities. These words are not objects. They are not things to possess or buy or demand from the world. They are presences that we can harness within ourselves over time, over a very, very, very long time. Practicing sweetness, however, means I must be aware of and responsible for when I am bitter. Practicing fluidity means knowing inside myself what is rigidity, rigidity. Oh boy, do we have some of that inside. Let us not worry and concern ourselves too much with the tyrants that are out there in the world, controlling and governing and depleting the world's resources because the biggest power we have is to deal with the tyrants inside of our own heads impeding our own progress, our own peace of mind, and peace of heart. The tyrant that is trying to tell me as I am writing this, this was in the middle of the night, last night, 
that I am not making sense and that I should be talking about so many other important things to you right now. But I tell my tyrant, don't worry, I do not have to be perfect. I only have to practice to be who I am on the outside, what I am on the inside. So my colleagues, perk up, wake up, listen, feel, hear, receive, and give back. Practice leaving your phone off. Thank God we have no reception here. Practice being fully present to the presences of some of the world's internally full of light people trying to shed light on the darkest corners of the world of our time. Excavating the awful truths and the beautiful truths and the shocking realities of a world that has many sides to it. A world that is part of a universe that is operating within the forces of two opposite poles. Order and chaos. Let us emulate over the next two days the ways of our universe. Despite all of humanity's negative doings for centuries and I don't know, all of humanity's negative doings right now, the universe is still expanding. <laughs> Why? Because maybe, just maybe, some of us, those of us who are practicing whatever we are practicing, as demonstrated just now by Umbretta, a wonderful, beautiful friend and curator we are contributing towards this expansion. Let us together, today and tomorrow, contribute all the positive inner qualities that we have inside of ourselves towards this inner expansion of ourselves and therefore of this planet and far, far beyond. I have so much more to say and um, I'm going to stop here because we're probably running late. Um, but this program wouldn't happen without the generosity and the practice of generosity by so many, many individuals, um, not only um, the artists, the curators, but the institutions, the galleries, the entire ecology of what makes the art world tick. There is a lot of love, and that love has been shared, and we're all taking part in that love. So let's feast. Um, thank you so much. Um, with that, we go to the next presenter. <laughs>